Thank you. That was a great introduction for what I wanted to talk to you about today. It's very, very important, and uh, I'm so happy. Thank you. Right, so killing the momentum of thoughts, and um, you get what you think about, right? And the thought that you're thinking really sort of sets the pattern for the next thought you're probably going to think. Uh -huh. And if you're a sloppy thinker, then you're going to think it. So it's sort of early awareness that matters the most, isn't it? Yeah. Um, you have been in my life for now the last six months. So what do you do? We're only going to interrupt a little bit. Uh -huh. So what do you do when you thought a thought and thought a thought and thought a thought and new 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 and then end up in a place you really don't want to be? Then what do you do? When you're standing in a place that you really don't want to be, how do you change the thought when there's already momentum? I know. That's my question. Uh, yeah? How to pivot? How, 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 <laughs> the pivoting thing, pivoting, you know, you, you teach about that. And, Could you uh, change the subject? I don't know. Could you? Do you have the power to think a different subject or is the momentum of that thought so compelling that it won't let go of your mind? Is your thought thinking you or are you thinking the thought? So, yeah, you, you, you get what you think about and uh, the, the life I have today with your teaching, I realize that everything I have in my life today has been obviously attraction and I attracted such an amazing, great life. I'm very happy and content and eager for more. Yeah. Um, but I also have this um, fear uh, yeah. that, that is controlling my life on a daily basis. Uh, my husband is over there and probably doesn't know that. So, but, um, so we want to say to you, just for clarification, the fear isn't controlling your life. The fear is indication of a thought that's screwing up your life. But nothing's controlling your life. The fear is the helpful indicator. So make friends with it. The fear is like the gas gauge on the vehicle. You want to know your tank's empty, don't you? No, don't want to know. It frightens me. I'm going to put a happy face sticker over it. And then I'll feel better. Well, so the fear is an indicator that is helpful. So, okay. So yeah. Um, Again, because I think I'm a very powerful creator because I, I attracted in my life everything I wanted. You uh, are powerful, but we want to give you something here. You are much more powerful in creating the things you want than in the things you don't want. You are much more powerful in creating the things you want than in the things you don't want because what's the obvious reason? Because your inner being is in on the stuff you want and your inner being is not the promoter of the stuff that you don't want. But Think about what's going on here. The more you want something, the more the absence of it terrifies you. We love you so much, but that's just dumb. <laughs> yeah, well, great because <laughs> I, um, and I know it's a very uh, stupid subject, but I, no, it I, isn't. I, um, it isn't. I, I'm terrified of, of dying in a plane crash. That's my daily, I mean, I. <laughs> Again, my husband is here today, he probably doesn't know, but it's a daily thing that is just... And because I, because I know I'm so powerful, I attract what I want. I'm so we want to give you some stuff here. We just want to help you clean this up. We're going to say some things to you that sound like we're contradicting you, but we're not contradicting you because we're on your side. We're clarifying. So we're just going to make some strong statements. You are not terrified of dying in a plane crash. You are terrified of dying. Now, terrified, meaning it's the other end of a stick that you really want. The reason that you're terrified of dying is because you're so in love with being alive in this physical body. Oh, the more in love with life you are, then the more the idea of not continuing it feels like just a horrible, horrible thing. Now, we can talk on and on about that part of it because you're not looking at the big picture and you're going to be happy anyway and blah, blah, blah. We don't need to go there even though we want to because that's a big subject too. But we want to stay focused on what's going on here. This is evidence of your love of this life and how it feels. And when life feels its best to you that's when you most don't want something to interrupt it because you want to continue to experience the momentum and the effect of what you've been living that's just the most natural thing 
but your logical mind has turned it into something specific all right so now we're going to tell you another story put a pin in that hold that spot right there just for a moment here's something really worth thinking about when we talk about the power of non-resistant thought that's like usually a vague sort of general thought that in its generality is not too detailed that you don't have a lot of active information that is working against it and so it's like watching a positive movie go by and there's power in that we call it the power of the daydream you're awake you're not asleep and your mind is focused but there's no resistance and there's so much power in that hardly any of you ever do that well we'll talk a little bit about that here today about how to get after that so Esther's been playing with that where she's been setting time aside where she's been pretty sure she's in the receiving mode because she meditated or was basking or something pleasing herself in some way she puts herself in an environment where it's easy to hold that feeling of well-being and then she just lets her mind wander and what's actually happening is the content of her vortex do you know what that is when you know what you don't want you know what you do want and you're launching these rockets these requests of what you want and they're being gathered in a vibrational atmosphere and tended by source energy and your inner being and they are the precursor to the wonderful things that your life will demonstrate and manifest but they're in vibrational form where you can't yet see them sort of like the seed in the ground that is going to be a stalk of corn and then an ear of corn and then something really good to eat but for now it's something that you can't see so there is this vibrational reality it's so real we gave it the name the vortex wrote two books about it because we want you to accept the reality of this vibrational state of becoming so this vibrational reality that your inner being knows about that your inner being can look at and see in its fullness because your inner being has seen the fullness of the picture of what your vibrational reality is as your inner being is consciousness that knows that as your inner being knows that holds that consciousness upon the becoming of your life experience and you are in a state of allowing meditating or daydreaming or appreciating or rampaging where you're not blocking it then those images or visions or dreams or even sometimes words can float seamlessly into your life experience sort of like you're watching a movie we call that daydreaming it is the most important skill to master because it's non-resistant thought and it means you're tuned in tapped in turned on with what you've created and you are in an utter state of allowing where it's flowing into your mind for the purpose of inspiring you and thrilling you and maybe inspiring you to some action but that's not the main event you're not daydreaming to motivate yourself into practical action you're daydreaming to experience the deliciousness of what you've already created it's like an advanced announcement of that so you get the picture of daydreaming what you're doing with the airplanes you're nightmaring and it's logical that you would so let's talk about why you're doing that you're in love with life and you can feel the bigness of what's coming even though it hasn't come and you don't want to miss it you don't want to miss any of it you want every bit of the deliciousness of it but because you're not absolutely sure maybe in the whole process maybe you're a little insecure about your ability to apply it even though you have so much evidence that lets you know you are applying it you're picking up chatter from the world rather than from your vortex sometimes in those fearful moments you're more of a vibrational match to the chatter that's not coming from source that's not coming from your vortex rather than being a vibrational match to the chatter that's coming from your vortex so hold in your mind just the distinction between daydreaming and nightmaring under the influence of source energy or under the influence of CNN under the influence of well-being or under the influence of something else and so let your logic say to you well that makes sense to me and then ask the question of yourself what was I doing thought wise as I led myself into this daydream or into this nightmare if Esther doesn't deliberately get up and quiet her mind and deliberately carve that out if she gets right into email or right into watching something on television before she knows it she's tapped into that other swirling river of thought and early on she'll catch herself she'll say oh my gosh I'm nightmaring 
I'm using those as the basis of the building blocks and I'm nightmaring the thing that we want most to say to you the thing that we want most for you to hear us say to you is that anytime you feel that strong negative emotion it's evidence of something really good in your vortex because if there were not that end of the stick then the other end of the stick couldn't be either in other words if you did not have such an impassioned love and appreciation for life you could not come close to the fear that you're feeling about the other so it's just about focus that's all and focus is about where this thought started we're not talking about all the years that you've thought about that or all of the hours we're talking about just this last little run you know how long it takes for momentum to get going just a few 17 17 17 17 17 17 seconds it's just a sequence that's really 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 recent this is not something that is going to be hard for you to let go of because you just started nightmaring a few minutes ago but even, but even for for these thoughts i've been thinking for years is it like it's something that i've been thinking for years and I, and i just want i just want to make sure it's not too late to just pivot and just stop the momentum of these thoughts because I, again the things i've been thinking for years you must have. be a really puny not very powerful thought you should have fallen out of the sky years ago <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh. yeah. Yeah. so much for that <laughs> in comparison with my love of life and my reason for being here and the intentionality that I came into this with and what I've added every day since that's a paltry little thought that's just nipping at my heels and it doesn't mean anything I'm just using it as a ridiculous reason to torture myself in this moment for no good reason I'm good But there's a reason you're doing it and the reason that you're doing it is because you're not in control of your thought in the moment the reason you're doing it is because you let a little momentum get going but you'll never feel the same way about that again just because of the discussion that we've had just it's, now I, it's yeah everything that's all i needed for you thank you so much i love you